Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 19 and 20 of Horizon in the Middle of Nowhere. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 19 and 3, 2, 1, go. Oh my god, allergy. Yeah, see, the funny thing about this is those do have no clue what in the world is going on. I mean, uh, it's just so funny. But then I still want to know about, um, What's his face? And the girl who he's with, because, you know, the secret that she was going to tell him. So I'm guessing, like, it's probably going to be the fact that she's, like, a princess or something. It has to be. I mean, what else could it be? Unless she'd be like, oh, hey, I have a twin that's, like, possibly secret evil or some shit. I don't know. I don't know. I have no freaking guys. gonna take forever to dry my hair. My hair is so wet and it's not even funny. The ghost? <laughs> I mean, you were saying a little too deeply, but you know, that's okay. You're a guy. <laughs>
Mm. See, I didn't think this is what she wanted to show Tenzo. I was thought, I thought it was like a big secret she was hiding for several episodes. Oh, damn. <laughs> Yeah, how is my sister going against that damn thing? <laughs> Fucking Christopher. I mean, because see, here's the one thing I want to know. If Tony and Horizon knew of what was going on, you know they would be there immediately to help everybody else. But I hate the A! Um, I hate the fact that they, they don't know anything. Oh, fuck. Mm. And he is not going to let go of that. Mm. Right, thank God I ain't spit out my water. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, oh my god, you guys are like mine. <laughs> no. But yeah, what happened? What made you lose that sense of passion? Oh. I'm guessing the one, the other one, because it was all three, uh, but the other two faces was covered, so we don't know which one. <laughs> what? I'm bleeding? Oh! Oh! Uh -huh. just unconscious because of loss of blood? Oh, Masa. It's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. He did what he thought was right. Yeah, and I think Mito's gonna be like the hardest one because look at the predicament she's in right now. So, um, yeah. I don't think she'll kill Mito, but Jesus. Come here. I don't want to pick you up because my hair is all, my hands all sticky because of my hair. And because of that needle, I'm making you sticky. Well, <laughs> oh, oh my 
Ivan. Oh, it's so good though. Heck, I had donuts. I had two. And I'm still freaking hungry. I would rather have me like, oh no! Oh. I would be. Mm -hmm. Excuse No, yeah, even if it's not what you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But remember, you still need me to. The, yeah, those two are fine. They playing. They busy. <laughs> oh. I, I think they are. with 
Yeah. So, Honda, why don't you go ahead and get out? Oh, come on. Huh? Get the kids. Oh, sacred. The hell? You bitch, you I saw we saw a one. And the real ones aren't behind you. Of course, explain. Mm. You serious? What the? F I, no, no, no. That's what she was trying to tell him. You fucking serious? But then, you know, there were so many times where she could have told him that instead of the end. Nintendo. Oh my god, what the fuck? So now, Sacred Sister. What the fuck? I can't. I fucking But then, when did they make the switch? When did she switch? I have so many questions. Like, okay, it could have been. Just right then and there, and then bam, it happened. Who knows? But I mean, yeah, Tenzo's in a predicament. And, oh God, mm. who even knows that? Like when they were walking, and she said, "Oh, hey, let's play this game and stuff." And if I win, let me see your face. That could have been actually her or her sister. Who freaking knows? We gonna know until the next freaking episode when they maybe go into their backstory. We know the fact that yes, they're paternal, not paternal twins. They're actual. Looking <laughs> like dead ass fucking twin and not no fraternal. What the fuck is going on? But the day, oh my god. Tony, I can't with you sometimes. My love slash dislike relationship with Tony because he can be so serious and sweet and kind and gentle. And then the next thing you know, you'd be like, really, bro? Oh my god, please tell me they're gonna kiss in the next episode because they're just so freaking cute together. Like, they've been together for this long of a time. We're almost done with this show, damn it. And I just want them to kind of get together before this series ends. They just look so freaking cute together, in my opinion. And just, I mean, with the fact that he knew certain things only because he was playing a game and he got it from an erotic game and so. <laughs> I like Tenzo. I've liked him ever since season one. He's interesting, and he should finally get some. I mean, yeah, Tony's kind of getting some, but not really. I mean, but still, he's an interesting character. Let him finally have a romance, in a way. We're almost done with the show, and officially, by the time I start 20, we'll have six episodes left. So I just want this to have, like, a nice, wrapped up in a nice bow ending. No bullshit, but who knows? I mean, we ain't gonna know until we get to, like... The final damn episode, which we are nowhere near there, but it was a good episode. But yeah, 
I'm glad that, you know, Horizon and Tori had the conversation that they did, and especially that, you know, for her and her emotions and, you know, about the sins and stuff, because I feel like with these last six episodes, really not, well, not counting 20, but like from 21 to 26, they're going to go a little more in depth into it, but not too much because I feel like the OVA, even though I'm not going to be able to watch it because people told me not to watch it, um, because it's for people who actually read the source material and I wouldn't understand most of it and I get that. But whatever that OVA possibly did for Toll and Held, I mean, I ain't gonna know. And it kind of sucks that the show only has two seasons because wherever it ends off, it's gonna end off in a really possibly awkward situation for me because then I'm like, oh, I want to know more. Oh, I can't. But yeah. Go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 20. Okay. Episode 20 and 3, 2, 1, go. Mm -hmm. Your sister over there is Bianca. That's sad, though, but there's got to be a way to prevent this, though. I mean, yeah, killing 300 people, yeah, that's a lot of people. I mean, my goodness, but I, I don't think he's going to want, like, Mary to do that and to sacrifice herself. There's going to be something else that he can do that Tenzo plus Tori and everybody else can do to, you know, stall the execution. They did it once with Horizon, they can do it again. Who knows? Uh, I hate when that happens. Mm -hmm. oh, Mary I know but But this isn't right, though. What do you do? Oh, uh, okay. Tried to hop up. Okay.
But you deserve to live longer. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, and then it ain't going to save anyone, not even herself. Make sure you grab the right one, though. Mm -hmm. Really, <laughs> you deserve that, though. Because he secretly cares.
She's she just <laughs> she carries anything. I mean, shoot. The fact that his sister Lisa <laughs> knew who he was. Like, oh my god. I can't. <laughs> we all know Tenzo's gonna come for her. <laughs> it's gonna come for her.
You know what, let me say this. If Mary is such a kind and sweet and gentle little thing, Elizabeth is just a complete and total bitch. Like, I, I kind of like her in a way, but still, I don't know, something about Queen Elizabeth just kind of rubs me the wrong way. Take me a tiny bit. Yeah, and I don't think we want that, so... Mm. Really? <laughs> I mean, it's nice that they came in with another damn chair, but still. <laughs>
Mm, that's true. Of course, here to come and fuck it up. Hello, you okay? All right, let me get the, the situation between Masazumi and Queen Elizabeth talking about everything. It's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. There, you know, there's consequences of saying yes, and there's consequences of saying no, but it's just something that I think. Everyone could, everyone's observing this in their own, like, territories and where they are and what, you know, the queen should do. Should she be an alliance with us on these kinds of nation and everything? Or should she just be still her own nation as England and not do anything else? And no matter what, it's a damn if you do damn if you don't situation. I feel like she's going to say yes for some weird reason, but then at the same time, she might just say no. But we, I'm not going to know until like maybe tomorrow or this weekend so I can watch the next episode. You kind of want her to say yes so they can all come together as one one nation, one world-ish, and then defeat the evil. And then go their separate ways. But it's just really up to her at the end of the day. But her just establishing that, yeah, she is the fairy queen and doing this big behind laser behind her and then everyone else comes in and be like, okay, here's another chair for her. Here you go, queen. But then having her sister, Mary, stuck in the tower, like, just sitting there, and just, ugh. I want Tenzo to save her so bad. She just looks like a typical princess, a damsel in distress, who's in a sad or a bad moment. And she just needs someone to, like, freaking save her. Even though, you know, typically some girls in the end can save them fucking selves. But it's just with her, I feel like it would be better if Tenzo would get, like, try to do his best to save her. And I feel like they're going to do that. I mean, essentially with Suzu and everyone talking about the ish of, like, oh, hey, no, if she dies, like, her saving is going to be for nothing. Like, she needs to stay alive. I get that. But, goddamn, like, Tenzo's now in a situation because he got hurt. So then what else can you fucking do? You have to have Tori and, you know, Masazumi and everybody else to handle the situation. They're handling it. But then it's like, you never know what the hell could possibly happen with these characters. And what, you know, the queen or literally anybody else on the queen's side could say or do. And then anyone who comes in, Chess Espania, anybody else, this is like, it, it, it's too much. You have too many people in the kitchen. Slowly but surely, everybody just needs to get the fuck out. But I'm not really going to know until maybe tomorrow this weekend. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 19 and 20 of Horizon in the Middle of Nowhere. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day from the Marshall Spot. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 21 and 22. Bye, guys.